On October 26th, Canada's favorite smut rockers McLean and McLean ran into a brick wall in their career when their performance was deemed to be immoral by Sault Ste. Marie Judge I.A. Vanini. The precedent-setting decision stems from a performance given by McLean and McLean in Sault Ste. Marie, November 3rd, 1977, during which they were said to use a language, tone, attitude, and demeanor that was immoral to community standards. I thought that he could be a little more eloquent in what he told us. What he called us, he could have called us bodily bobblers, insisting on groveling and degradation, a dirty duo delivering a diatribe in coarse obscenity, randy rubicorns rakishly <laughs> ravishing respectability, indecent interlopers offending the sensitivities with their oral offensiveness, lewd loudmouths lampooning lavatories, overtly retaining sexual themes and crudely crapping on conformity, their smutty improper indecencies insulting the individual, their grim determination and single-minded insistence on clinically detailing every moan and nuance, grinding relentlessly for an erection. For this reason, I find them guilty. If I was that judge, I would have said that. He didn't have to find us guilty, though. You could have called us all of that, but he didn't have to find us guilty. That's right. The McLeans were given an absolute discharge, but still, the guilty verdict means their act is illegal and can't be performed in Canada. An appeal is in the works, with a benefit concert plan to help pay for legal fees. Being very pessimistic, uh, if you lose the appeal, are you planning on changing the act? No, no, if we lose the appeal, we won't do the act. We won't change the act at all. The, um, act, the act is what, what it is. What will you do then? I'll become Quasimodo. I'm going to become a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and if you believe that, you can kiss my... Watch it. Watch it. He didn't say that. He didn't say that.